Hey guys, this is Kate Kennedy and today I want to show you most of the new Dear Lizzie Happy Place collection. I'm starting here with the little 6x6 paper pad. I really love this collection. I pretty much love everything that Dear Lizzie does or Elizabeth Kirchner. Um, but this one I just think is so fun. Now some of it is a little bit, well, super, super themey. Like the sunglasses and stuff I probably won't use, but like the watermelons and the cactus or cacti and all that. I and the, the palms. I love that. I think it is so cute and so much fun. Um, that's one of my favorite patterns. I didn't think that I would like it that much, but I really do. There's a few in here that I was a little bit, eh, I don't know if I'm going to like that, but I, in the end, I was really glad that I had gotten the 12 by 12 of them because I did I ended up really liking them a lot. So like I said, this is just the six by six. I believe there's one of each paper in the six by six. Yeah, there's 36 papers and 36 designs. So I guess there's 18 papers in this collection. And I think I have all of them to show you in 12 by 12. Um, I, I'm not super crazy about how they only put one of each in the six by six, but you know, what are you going to do? So here, starting off with bananas, this is a super cute pattern. Um, the next one is called La La Land and this one has some frames and I really like this background, like brush scripty looking thing. This one is called Cheery Cherry, which is kind of hard to say, especially with a cold. Um, and then kind of a crosshatch pattern on the back cameras, which you could totally cut out. It's called Say Cheese. I love red and pink, and this is just a really cute polka dot. The next one is called Darling Daisy. I like that kind of mustardy yellow background, and this is cute. It's a good kind of neutral paper. This one is called Palm Beach, and I really like the ledger. It has different colored lines. Here's a whole page of three by fours called, um, what was that called? Palm Beach? No, Sunkissed. This one is Wild Watermelon. It's really cute. And the back is a nice green pattern. Key West. It just looks like water. I liked this pattern on the back. Tropical Tango. This one is one of my favorites. I think it is so cute. I just love that pattern. This one is called Beachy Betsy. It's nice watercolors. Um, Sunshine State. I'm not crazy about these sunglasses. I mean, they're cute, but I don't have children, so I don't. I think it's kind of a youthful thing. This one's tutti fruity. It's really cute. It would be so cute on a card. Um, I love this one, the background though, which I don't know that I think that goes with the collection, but I do like it. Party Hardy. Um, I'm not crazy about this writing. I think it's kind of a little bit juvenile looking and on this one also called Be Free. They're the same. Um, one's just green and one is like pink and red, um, but I really liked this ba the background of that, which is a kind of black and white. This one is called Swan Dive. And then that's kind of like graffiti looking. I don't know. You have to see it up close. It's very different. So it's called Lemonberry. I just love a yellow stripe. Bubblicious. Not crazy about that, but I like the other side as a nice neutral. This one's called Bermuda. And it's kind of an ombre. But this is my favorite. This is probably my favorite print in the whole collection. And then this one's called Top Notch, which is just a bunch of different cut aparts and then a gingham. And then I have two more that I had to get from somewhere else. This one's called Cactus Cooler. It's super, super cute. I love the cacti. I think they're so much fun. And the background is really cute also. On the other side, this one's called Kokomo, which is just a bunch of different icons, like basically from the collection. And it has that parrot, which I think is kind of cute. And then I like that pattern too. I think it's fun. So now we're going to move into the embellishments. And... I don't know. I have mixed feelings about, I'm just going to be totally honest. I mean, this is my opinion of this collection. I love these leather tassels. I think they're really fun. I like that they're in two different sizes. Um, I like the colors of them. That's an embellishment that I do really like. Some of the other ones, um, I feel are a little too juvenile for, no, I hate to use the word juvenile because it makes it seem like that that's bad or something. I don't know that I have so much of a use for them. It's the font. The font of it is very like, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not sure. But there's some that I, do, that, I, that I do like also. I love these thickers. I think they're fabulous. They're tortoise shell. They're amazing. I think they have nothing to do with the collection and don't go with the collection at all. But I will definitely use them for projects. And then here is the ephemera pack. The ephemera pack's pretty cute. It's 
it has acetate and cardstock pieces. There's like 46 of them, I think. And then these are really fun too. There's a bunch of um, like word uh, sayings and some of them are already colored for you. And then some of them are on watercolor paper so that you can color them yourself, which I think is really fun. So I think these are great for like pocket scrapbooking or even in your planner or something. I'm not big on like pre-made title things on layouts. I mean, I just, it's not that I'm not big on them. I always like the way that they, they look, but I have a hard time using them myself. So anyhow, so these are the kind of watercolory ones that you can color over. I haven't tried it yet, but I would assume that they um, work pretty well. But I think that's a good idea. I think that's fun. If you have a Cameo or some kind of electronic die cutting machine, you could make these yourself, but they're a part of the collection, so why not? Um, I like that one that says say yes. I think that's cute. That would even be cute in like a engagement thing or my wedding album or something. Um, and then I'm going to show you the embellishments. And it takes, sorry about the focus. It Sometimes my camera has a hard time with like acetate. So like I said, a lot of um, very thematic um, imagery. I, don't, I think a lot of these would be cute like on gift wrap um, or even like home decor projects or something. I just don't know how I'm going to incorporate them into kind of how I document life. But I always love giving new products a try and challenging myself to use things. And then whatever I don't use, I just pass along. So that always works. So here's like this little swimmer lady. And if you'll remember, there's a crepe paper line that came out last year that had that kind of diver on it and it came in a hip kit and I was like I don't know when I'm ever going to use this and I ended up using it on like the first layout that I made so I say that about these things that I'm going to have a hard time using and then sometimes I find that they're the first ones that I use so you just never know just I'm going to try really or not to limit myself but I'm just trying to give you my honest opinion on things so that way you can decide you know if you feel the same way or if you think heck yes I'll use every one of these she's I don't know what she's talking about then that's great you know that's the point of me making these videos is for you guys to see the products and decide for yourselves if it's something that that you'll that you'll want or use or that you like you know so some of these pieces are really cute though I really do like a lot of them I love that kind of purpley based pink that's in this collection I really like that kind of our blue based pink and I like these palms and of course Everybody knows I love pineapple. So I think that um, is the last, I think that's all the things I have to show you in this video. So thanks guys so much for watching and I hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.